What's the deal, baby? Big Boss K Po here to talk this boxing real quick. You know, then I'm about to go take y'all need to take. I just came out the gym. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you why stylistically, why Bud Crawford style is perfect for Spins. Okay, for example, styles make fights, right? I'm not comparing these fighters to these fighters, right? But you look at fights like Marcos Madonna versus Adrian Broner. Okay. Not saying that L. Spence is Adrian Broner or Marcus Madonna. Not saying Terrence Crawford is Marcus Madonna or Adrian Broner. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is styles make fights. And you look at how before the fight, people's looking like, they looking at Broner. They're like, oh, man, Broner. Broner do all this flashy stuff. So they like, yeah, man, Broner finna demolish Madonna. And what happened? McDonald whoop burner ass. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Bud's style, you know, for example, okay, let's break it down. Because I just got through watching Bud. And I watch a lot of Bud Crawford fights, okay? I, I, I study this dude like, like it's nothing. Like, you know what I mean? I was running on the treadmill. I was watching his fight against Mean Machine. Um, Bud typically uses uh, the beginning rounds to collect data on you. He don't start fast. You know what I mean? The only fight he started fast was the Amir Khan fight. And that's how I feel like I feel like he felt the pressure because he had to because Amir Khan was faster than him. You know what I mean? So he didn't want to let Amir Khan get in rhythm. So he had to put something on Amir Khan early. You know what I mean? So Amir Khan can see, you know what I mean? Like, all the, all the, you know, he got to nip that in the bud. You know what I'm saying? But bud takes time to collect that on you. You know what I mean? He, 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 he paused at your jab. You know what I mean? He paused at your jab. He's trying to get your rhythm. He also trying to find his reach, his range. You know what I'm saying? So he collects data so he can find out, hmm, what 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 what, what range do I need to fight at? How do I need to fight this dude? You know what I'm saying? Do I need to dog it out with him? or do, and can, I, can I skillfully just beat him on the outside? In which I feel like Bud prefers to be on the outside to beat you. He'll fight on the inside with you. He'll dog it out with you, but... That's particularly where he get hit a lot. You know what I mean? So that's kind of like he's he that's not his strong suit, but it's not really a weakness. Like he's pretty good at fighting on the inside. Not gonna lie to you. But you got a fighter like Errol, who's strong on the inside and strong on the outside. Okay? But he don't do nothing flashy. Errol fight with his hands high. Throws the jab a lot. Even if he don't hit you with it, he's still throwing it. He's throwing it. And a lot of people don't understand, like, some people, when they start boxing, they throw the jab, and when they throw a punch and they don't hit their opponent, they get discouraged. Well, you know, in boxing, a lot of times, you don't need to hit your opponent. You just need to put that out there to get them to, you know, to react to it or, or temporarily blind them so you could throw another punch. You get what I mean? You got L. Spence, who's not a combination puncher. He's a he places his shots. He's a pick 'em fighter. He picks where he gonna put his shots at. You know what I mean? Where well, you got Bud Crawford, who's a combination puncher. Huh? One two three, one two three four, one two three five. Huh? Jab jab, punch or jab. You know what I mean? That's what Bud does. He keeps that hand up and he paws at your jab. Okay. Now some of the flaws I see in Bud is at times he drops his hands and he comes back in a straight line, okay? He drops his hands, he comes back in a straight line. And now it be that jab. When he's pawing at your jab, he's not pawing and bringing it back to his chin. He's pawing and bringing it down in a looping motion. Now, granted, he's athletic. So he can, he got cat-like cat reflexes, excuse me. So his athleticism makes up for that, you know what I mean? Because he's able to react pretty fast but you can do that against guys who are not on your level i don't know if you're gonna be able to do that against errol now granted he may get in there with errol and errol may not be able to touch this man you know what i mean that's just what it is you know what i mean that that's just what it is. he may get in there but i i think based off of the flaws that i've seen i feel like errol's gonna be able to capitalize on those little things it's not major flaws it's just little minute small flaws that I've seen. You got L. Spence. His hands is always high, right? His hands is always up here. So what tends to happen is when your hands are up here, sometimes it blocks your 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 vision. You know what I mean? 
So Bud can throw some and step and land a hook, you know what I'm saying? And catch arrow. You know? It very well can happen. You know what I mean? So those are the flaws I see, you know. I do think Bud has ballerina feet. I do think Bud is the fastest of puncher, but I feel like L Spence style will pose a problem for Bud because Bud hasn't fought a fighter who's shot who's whose IQ and, and, and shot placement. It what am I trying to say? Bud hasn't fought a fighter like L Spence who places his shots, you know, the, the way they that he does it, if that makes sense. Okay. You got L Spence. Yes, he does everything off the jab. But L will go jab, jab, step, hook. Or jab, jab, step, body shot. Step back, uppercut. Like, he places his shots. He sets everything up. He does stuff to get you to react so he can put the, put the shot where he want to put it at. If that makes sense. You know what I mean? So, whereas Bud, Bud is just... You'll throw some, and Bud will try to throw. He either try to throw in between your punches, or he gonna make you miss and make you pay. You know what I mean? Which I feel like Bud is gonna try to do in this fight against Arrow, as he's trying to stand in front of Arrow, like he said he is. He's gonna stand in front of Arrow. He's gonna try to throw in between Arrow shots. I think Bud gonna try to do that once he get his rhythm and once he figure out like what he gonna, he gonna try to throw in between Arrow shots. I still don't feel like that's gonna work. You know what I mean? I, I, I just don't see that. And, and I see Errol Spence starting to wear Bud down. You know what I mean? That's what I see. I see Errol Spence because of his style, his high punch output. Errol throws a lot of punches per round. And he can up it if he need to. Bud doesn't throw a lot of punches around. For example, when he fought Mean Machine, right? Mean Machine was... Pawing at the jab, Bud was pawing at the jab, right? Bud, but Bud was just collecting data. He'll throw a one-two. And that's it. One. He don't throw a lot of punches. Okay? He gonna throw a combination, do it, land it, slip, roll, pivot, and then he may throw another combination. You know what I mean? But he doesn't throw a lot of punches per round. Errol throws a lot of punches, but it's not reckless. It's not, it's, 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 it's smart, it's calculated, it's technical. You get what I mean? And that's what I'm saying as far as stylistically. If Errol is, if Bud is not able to hurt Errol or able to put Errol in a situation where Errol got to respect his power, I'm telling you, it's going to be nothing Bud could do to keep Errol Spence from coming forward to him. That's just what it is. But I also think if Bud is able to if bud does have power to affect errol errol gonna box him and which i believe errol can box you know what i mean it's just that he ain't had that many fights where he had to show that you know what i mean like i say if i'm throwing something and it's landing and you don't got nothing to stop it why would i stop doing why would i stop throwing that punch you get what i mean so I think personally, stylistically, based off of L Spence's out, L Spence punch output and his defense, I feel like L Spence will be able to grind Terrence Crawford down to the point where Terrence Crawford gets tired, right? Because he ain't fought a fighter who has a high punch output like L Spence, okay? He ain't fought a fighter who has a high out punch output and who punches hard. Yeah, Porter... He punches a lot, but his punches ain't ain't really affecting people. He be muffling his punches. He be muffling his work. L, L don't muffle his work. You know what I mean? He knows the proper distance he need to be at to land a proper punch and hurt you and affect you and make it break. Them, them body punches is no joke, bro. That, and that's going to be the key in this fight. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be the key. But like I said, I feel like L Spence stylistically it, his style will be an issue for Bud Crawford that's my opinion the only way I see Bud Crawford winning this fight is if he's able to throw in between Errol Spence's punches or make him miss make him pay like Errol just ain't got nothing for him like he's like them cat like cat like reflexes is just Errol can't touch him but and, and Bud just 
Bud just boxing. You know what I mean? Having a field day on Buddy. That's the only way I see Bud Crawford winning. I don't see Bud Crawford standing in front of Errol, walking him down, dogging him. I don't see that. I don't see that happening. You know what I mean? Now, granted, if if Bud Crawford gets in there and stops Errol Spence, he, he this shows me, that proves to me that he's the number one welterweight. And I'm going to come on here and make a video congratulating Bud Crawford the same way I would if Errol Spence won. You know what I mean? What channel do you know that gives pros and cons to both fighters? I don't understand. If this was a pro L Spence channel, why would I give pros and cons and ways Bud Crawford could win? I would just only talk about what, the way L Spence would win. That's just facts. I will only talk about L. Hey, L, L going to do this and L going to be him. No. You know, we talk boxing on my channel. But the issue is these these bud buddies, these bud buddies who got Bud Crawford on their wall, Bud Crawford in their bathroom by the lotion. I don't know what you're doing in there. You're a grown man. Hey, I don't need no all that. All I'm saying is at the end of the day, bro, as it pertains to this fight, we just want to see these dudes get in the ring and settle this scope. That's just what it is. If you want to come on my channel and you want and you support Bud, just keep it respectful. You know what I mean? I like Bud Crawford, but I'm looking at the styles. I'm looking at L. Spence. I'm looking at L. Spence, who done fought top five welterweights, okay? And these welterweights got top five welterweights they done fought, okay? They, and then, this is the thing. The, the welterweights that L. Spence fought, they check all the boxes. Everybody know who they are. They fought top competition themselves. You know what I mean? They were champions. You know, they sell tickets. Like, they check all the boxes. You look at Bud Crawford's opponents, he fought. The only person I could give credit for that checked the boxes is Sean Porter. But even then, I've told y'all, they didn't want to fight each other. That's just the truth. You know what I mean? And truthfully, so, um, shout out to Jay Williams. Jay Williams, man. He like L. Spence, but he's picking Bud to win this fight. You know what I mean? He's a supporter. He he followed the channel. You know what I mean? He's all about fairness, and that's why I respect him. He pointed out something. He said in the Porter fight, the reason why Porter uh, fought Bud is because he wanted that WBO belt so he could fight L. Spence again. Which, me personally, that may have been true. But I don't think that would have been a good idea. Because I think... Sean Porter was grinded down from the L. Spence fight. And I feel like if he would have beat Crawford and he would have had to fight Errol again, Errol would have stopped him. That's just what I believe. You know what I mean? There's a reason why fighters are not the same after they fight L. Spence. That is what it is. They not the same. Look at Mikey. He even said that. Look at Danny. You know what I mean? Like, there's a reason why now, granted, Danny won his fight against Jose Benavidez Jr., but he even admitted he wasn't the same. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, like, I could go I go on and on. At the end of the day, we got to look at who these guys are fighting in the caliber of fighters. But as far as as it pertains to who the number one welterweight is right now, which I got Elspeth's 1A, Bud 1B. That's just what it is. But at the end of the day, when these dudes get in this ring, you know, whenever that is, I'm waiting for the networks to announce it because I'm not trying to hear Bud said this and this person said this, this YouTube channel said this. I'm not trying to hear that. I need to hear Steven Espinosa come out and say, look, hey, look, this was going on. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, let's root for this fight. Uh, let me know in the comment section who you going for. Let me know what you what you think about. You know, as far as my breakdown, I don't want for no smoke. Keep it respectful, though. Keep it boxing. You know, because a lot of y'all, y'all come in here and y'all forget y'all home training. You know what I mean? Y'all be talking that gangster stuff. You know what I mean? Which is cool because y'all do that because y'all are safe. That's just what it is. But at the end of the day, realize that be careful what you say on here, bro. You know what I mean? Karma's a mother. That's all I can say. You know what I mean? You know, where I come from, 
We don't do no talking on our internet. You don't talk like that. Like, you're not going to... I'm not going to go on another man's video that I disagree with and say something. And then... <laughs> you know, like, if I disagree with this video, I'm just going to cut the video off. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let's go.